How's everybody doing? Hey, Coach. Thanks for joining us. Our first question for Coach will come from Ross Martin. Hey, Jay. <clears throat> I was wondering what you saw on the freshman defenders that played extensive snaps against Notre Dame. And in particular, in detail, could you see what you saw on tape from like Des Evans and Miles Murphy, who are, are certainly emerging as of late? Thank you. Yeah. Ross, I appreciate you going first this week. Yeah. Anything for you, Jay? Thanks. Um, so, yeah, you know, I think Miles Murphy is really, really playing well. And um, I think Tim Cross has done a really good job with him. You know, obviously he's got a cast on, which, uh, which affects him a little bit. But, you know, we really can put Miles in and not worry about any calls. You know, he, he can go in and I don't have to say, you know, it's, it's not one of those deals like, hey, Miles is in, you know, keep it kind of base. You know, so I, I think a tribute to that kid for, for working so hard. Yeah, you know, I thought Cayman Rucker played really well. Um, you know, when he was in there, you know, made some tackles. And, you know, and I think you know, he gives us a little bit different, you know, edge rush than some of the other guys. Obviously, Dez had a sack. Uh, I thought he played really well. You know, we asked him to do a lot. You know, he was doing more linebacker than he's ever probably done in his life. And, um, and I think, he, you know, he's continuing to improve. And then I think Clyde Pender played really well when he was in. So I think, you know, those front, those front four kids – are, uh, are really doing a good job. And, you know, when I get asked about him, I, you know, I don't want to forget about my man, you know, you know KJ, you know, Bingley Jones, who is, uh, who looks like a million dollars right now. So I think when we, you know, we get, we get him back in the spring, we got, we got a really, really group, good group of young kids. Is, is KJ playing or practicing with y'all at all or anything? Or no, I mean, he's still rehabbing and doing that stuff, but man, he looks great. And, and with Daz, I mean, does, Seeing what he can do with that length, I mean, how excited does that make you as, as a coordinator, you know, seeing I – mean, actually seeing that in a game? And Yeah, no, I mean, I, I've been excited about him for a long time. But, you know, I, I, you know he works really hard. He's going to keep playing more and more. And I, and I, I think the, he has got a really, really bright future. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, let's go back over to Andrew Jones. Hey, Coach, staying on Des Evans uh, – are you seeing the, the weight training getting stronger, starting to pay off in some of his reps in games? Yeah. I mean, he, he is um, – he, he's a lot heavier, bigger kid than he was when he first got here. And that's a tribute to, to Brian Hess and those guys in the weight room and, and how hard Des has worked. So, yeah, I mean, he's you – know, I don't know exactly what he weighs, but, I mean, he's got to be, I would say, around 260 right now. And, uh, and, and he's a really – he, you know, he's going to play a lot of football here. Uh, Kevin Hester has got a decent number of reps against State and then the other day. Uh, how is he coming along? I know he was a little bit of a project for you last year. So kind of where is he staying? How much has he developed since you guys got him? Yeah, you know, I, you know, I forget about him sometimes because, the, the, you know, he's not – he's a redshirt freshman. But, I mean, Kevin Hester is huge. So, you know, when we signed him, he played one year of high school football and he was about 260. Now he's about 320. You know, so, you know, he, he, he really – we put him in the game. We, we, we can really put some big people in the game right now. And I, and I think we did that some on Saturday, and I think it really helped us. So, well, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Kevin, Kevin's doing – I mean, he, he is really coming along really well. One more quick question on him. Football instincts. Uh, sometimes coaches say when they get a guy who hasn't played much, it's actually good because they don't have a lot of bad habits that they have to fix. With Kevin, how is he developing his football instincts? Yeah, I think it, it, that is very noticeable with him. Um, you know, certain things like, hey, look, look where the running backs aligned. You know, which way is the run going now? You know, some of those things are, you know, he, he was a little bit of a blank slate when he got here. But you know, he's getting more reps. And, and I think with all those kids, the more reps they get, the better they're going to get. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, JB Ricks, go ahead. Coach Bateman, thank you so much for taking out the time this morning. Uh, I just have more of a general question in regards to what you feel like your defense did right compared to what they didn't do right in the Virginia game. And how do you uh, carry that momentum, you know, into the Wake Forest game? Who has a, you know, a, a very versatile offense? Sure. Um, yeah, I told Coach Brown on Sunday, I, I felt like it was the first game – in a while, you know, even against NC State, you know, there were there were a lot of plays where you know we we weren't exactly the way we want to be, and um, you know, I, I felt like it was the first game where you know we when mistakes happened, you know, and and give Duke credit too, right? When you know sometimes it was good play calls and good execution by them, but our kids knew exactly how to 
you know, what the problem was. And I, and I think that that was the, the thing I took away from it the, the best. I, I also think I thought we were really efficient in the run game. You know, we had three, we had three big ones that I, you know, I would like to take back. We kind of knew going in that's, you know, how Duke kind of operates. You know, they, they, they pop some big ones on you. Um, obviously, the last one, you know, the, the one that made it 17 was one I'd like to have back. But, you know, I, I thought our run defense was really efficient. And I think that'll be really important against Wake, you know, because Wake's a really good offense. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, let's go back to Greg Barnes. Good morning, Jay. Uh, Mac talked about the challenge in getting the players to learn as much from wins as they do from losses. Just curious your perspective on that. Yeah, I think that's the mark of a good program is when you um, when you can uh, when you can get coached really hard and and learn a lesson when when you still get a get a win and I, and, I, and I think we're making that I think we're, we're we're certainly have improved on that from when I first got here when I first got here it was like we win and, and we wouldn't play very good and they were like coach what are you worried about we won like because dude like the next time it's not going to happen this way. So I feel like some of our young kids understand that more. And, I, and I, you know, you hear all the time, you know, lose small, win small. Um, yeah, I think we're at a point now where, like, you know, we, we've won some games by some points when we've been able to play some of these other kids in the game. Now it's time to go um, learn from the losses, learn from mistakes, and apply it even though you didn't necessarily give up a touchdown or a huge play or whatever. Um, and, I, and I do believe we're seeing more of that. Thank you. Sure. Uh, okay, let's go back over to Taylor Vipolis. Coach, the secondary had a great game in coverage against Duke with no Kyler, no Storm. What have you seen from Dre, uh, Dre specifically to always have that next corner ready? You mean from Coach Blah? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so I think, I think he's got some, some talented guys, and, and he kind of took some lumps a year ago with all the different guys that had to play that maybe weren't quite ready. Like, before the game, I, you know, I went up to, uh, to Hollins, and I said, uh, how much better a player are you than you were last year at this point? And he was like a thousand percent. And I'm like, and he's probably right. I mean, like, I mean, a thousand percent is a big improvement, but he is so much better than he was a year ago. And so I think part of it is the tribute to those kids and, and, you know, competition solves a lot of problems, right? So now you look around, you know, if you're Storm Duck, you're looking around and saying, man, I better get back quick, you know, because, because, you know, and, and I do think Patrice has really, you know, gotten back into the swing of things better now um, than he was early in the season. Um, so, I, I mean, I, I think we've got a lot of talent out there in the secondary, and, and, the, you know, and it makes it fun to go to practice and see them compete. Thank you. Yeah, but Dre, Dre, you kind of asked about Dre. Dre's done a great job with him, and, 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 and I think he feeds that competitive. He's a very competitive dude, and he feeds that competitiveness with them. That I think they really respect him, um, and, and he says things. Um, it, it, it echoes with that group. So he, he's done a great job with them and, and getting those guys ready. Thank you. Sure. All right, uh, let's go to Gregory Hall. Jay, what have you seen on film that allows Sam Hartman to be so successful? Um, I mean, I think Sam's really talented. I mean, you know, he, he won the job a couple years ago, you know, and I thought Jamie Newman was a great player. So um, I, I think what I see from him, I think he's extremely accurate. Um, I think he's very knowledgeable about what they ask him to do. I think they have a really unique, you know, offensive kind of attack. And, and he does a really good job executing it. And I think he's really, really accurate. And, uh, you know, so it, it's going to be a challenge for us. I think he's a really good player. I've known him for a long time. I've known him since he played for Coach Greer at Davidson Day. So, you know, he, he's a really good player. All right. Uh, let's go move over to Luke Buxton. Luke, go ahead. Coach, obviously the run game as a run defense has been a, been a big talking point this season with the defense. When you have two backs like Javante and Mike and you get to use them in practice, how much, is, how much competition is there between the offensive defense? From my understanding, it's kind of split up most of the time. Is there like any challenges where the defense gets to experience like trying to play against those two backs in preparation for when yeah. they go against other good backs in games? So the first thing, Luke, is Phil Longo and Matt Brown do not let us tackle those two guys. All right, so let's get that straight. All right, we don't get to tackle those guys. But, um, yeah, so I, I tell you what we do a lot is, like, we will say to our defenders, hey, look, if you can leverage Javante and leverage Mike in the run game, then why can't you leverage some of these other guys? Um, so, sure, there's definitely, um, you know, 
there's definitely a, a, a sense of, hey, look, you know, we're, we're competing against a really, really, really good unit. We go against our offensive line and our running backs for sure. My, like, I think my favorite period of practice every week is inside run on Tuesdays, right? We get to go, go against our offense and they run their plays, we run our defense and we got to go, you know, it's 16 plays and it's really competitive. That, you know, I think that's where we try to get better every week. Thanks, George. Yep. All right, we'll close up today uh, with Adam Smith. Go ahead, Adam. I tell you what, to what do I owe this honor? Here there we go. go. Hey, Jay. Um, how do you approach uh, facing off against Warren Ruggiero, your old friend? I, I guess it's accurate to call him your old friend. I don't know. Sure. But, uh, how do you approach that matchup, and um, do you look forward to it, or do you dread it? Um, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I enjoy the competition part of it. I think Warren's a tremendous football coach, you know, and uh, when we worked together, I mean, when we worked at Elon together, we lived four houses down from each other, and our, our wives are great friends, and so, yeah, I look forward to the, to the challenge. He's done a great job, and I, and I think defensively, you know, kind of what I do has morphed, and I think offensively kind of what he's done has morphed from when we were at Elon together. But uh, he's a tremendous football coach. It's going to be a real challenge. I was going to ask you that. So, so when, you, when you dig into Wake now, you see different things than you did maybe 10 years ago when you were trying to screw him up in practice? Yeah, I think, he, I think there's, a lot, uh, there's a significant difference from what he used to do there. Um, you know, what they do at Wake offensively is pretty unique. And I, and I give Warren a lot of credit for that. I mean, I, it's, you know, he, he's done a really good job. And uh, – you know, the run game is very different. But, I mean, it's certainly the, the attack and mindset, certainly the, you know, the, the, the very knowledgeable pass game is still the same. But I think, you know, what he's done with the tempo and the run game is a little bit different. All right. Coach Bateman, thanks for your time today. Appreciate it. No problem. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Mark.